Peace, 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 peace. Welcome back to the UNI Verse All Temple for the sun, planets, moon, and stars. I'll be your Lord of hosts, Lord Messiah. And we're going back into the Daryl Brooks trial. <clears throat> now, you know, they got so-called witnesses coming forth. And he's questioning the witnesses. They keep sustaining the objection. So he's not fairly getting an actual chance to face his accuser. And even though he stated that these witnesses are not the actual accusers, so I don't even know why he's even talking to them. But however, the state, which is the actual accuser, he cannot face them because they're an entity. So they have already exposed this on the record, but they keep trying to uphold the fraud by this fake legal process. So now they're bringing forth another so-called witness, which is not a plaintiff, to bring forth a so-called claim on him and, you know... They're continuing the, the, the BS. So let's continue and let's see what else they got to say now because they're continuing to lie. So let's go. Um, whoever those two people are in the building, um, can you share this live? You know what I'm saying? Put some people on. In the other videos I did, share those videos. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's the least somebody could do. Thank you. Matt Harris. Thank you. All right, Mr. Harris, thank you for making your way up to the witness stand. When you get there, please remain standing. Raise your right hand. My clerk, Teresa, will swear you in. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you, sir. Please have a seat. First thing I will have you do is to state your first and last names for the record and then spell each. Oh. Uh, Matthew Harris, uh, M-A-T-T. The first thing I ask you to do is to spell your name to give us jurisdiction over your person. Thank you. H-E-W-H-A-R-R-I. And then we're going to ask you, were you there at the scene of the crime, which will give us territorial jurisdiction over you? or either where do you work so that you, you're working within the territory we have jurisdiction over? Okay, thank you. Now you can start talking about what happened so you can give us subject matter jurisdiction. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. Go ahead, your witness. Thank you. Mr. Harris, I'm gonna draw your attention to November 21st, 2021. Were you at the Watch the Christmas Parade on that date? I was. And were you a spectator, were you a participant? Spectator. Who were you with? Uh, there was a large group. So he is a spectator. On the record, he's a spectator, not a witness, not a plaintiff, not anyone bringing an accusation against him. Both uh, friends and some family in that group. So did you bring your family? I brought my uh, two daughters. Okay. And was your wife there? No, the wife was not there. And how about um, just generally, approximately how many people were, were with your group? I think our group had about 19 or 20 between kids and adults. And where were you sitting or standing to view the parade? We were right on the corner of Main Street, Clinton, right in front of uh, the Stephen Cup. <laughs> I'm going to show... Oh, wait, 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 wait. On the corner of Clinton and whatever, in front of the what? In front of what? Did he just say cops? Hold on, the same cops that they said was, was not there? Wait a minute. And where were you sitting or standing to view the parade? We were right on the corner of Main Street in Clinton, right in front of uh, the Stephen Cup. <laughs> I'm going to show you State's Exhibit number 51. It's going to display in the front I of the really screen. I didn't really understand what he said. If you can just let me know when he said cop. Like he, I, he didn't say that, though. Sorry. Yes. Um, does that accurately depict um, the corner that you were at to watch the Christmas parade? It does. I would ask the court to admit it into evidence and to publish it to the jury. See, see how, see how they enter that evidence in. Look, this dude just made a statement as a witness, and they want to enter all of this stuff into evidence. See, now listen, this is the whole thing, right? Remember, hearsay 
is not admissible in a court of law as evidence. So anything this man says as a speculator, like he justified himself, is all hearsay, which means they are not even to enter that into evidence because it's hearsay. But notice how the prosecutor just asked to enter it into evidence and the judge did just that. See, now if this brother knew that that, that part of the game, that hearsay is not admissible in a court of law as evidence, he could have stated that and said, Your Honor, why did you just enter that into evidence? That's hearsay. You didn't even give me a chance to um, say whether I was going to respond to it or not to even make it uh, evidence of the case. Because if he responds to it, then he makes it relevant because he actually challenged the validity of whatever was said. Then it, then it becomes part of the case. But if he would have said, Your Honor, uh, hearsay is not admissible in a court of law as evidence. Therefore, any of these witnesses who are not the exact plaintiff, they're only here presenting hearsay. And anything they say cannot be entered into evidence as not in a court of law as evidence. It can't be entered into evidence. It's hearsay. He should have stood on that ground right there and noticed that everything they say is all hearsay. You can't enter that as evidence. But according to them, they about to do that. <laughs> Particular exhibit. Overworld exhibit. I'm sorry, can I have the number again? Is it 51? Exhibit 51 Ooh. is received and permission to publish is granted. Sir, the screen in front of you is a touch uh, screen, so can you kind of put in maybe a circle around the area that the 19 people that you were with kind of encompassed? Wow. And were you standing sitting? Now listen, he said he was standing right there on on the on the corner, which is what remember they said they were in the middle of the block. Now now if this car was allegedly speeding from, from far down the block coming toward them, then maybe he seen when uh so-called Sammy got hit. When 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 Sam got struck, maybe he saw that part from down the block. You know what I'm saying? So now, unless he said, unless he bears witness to Sam getting hit, then what the fuck? You know what I mean? I don't want to hear nothing he's saying. He way down the block. You, you, your vision ain't that great. You could see down the block and, and see exactly what happened. You're standing on the corner. Come on, dude. Stop it, man. They said it was in the middle of the block. How long is the block? I'm pretty sure it's, it's you know, decent. You know what I'm saying? Decent length. Enough where he would not be able to see what what took place from afar, from that far. Come on now. Standing. Was everyone standing? Everyone was standing. And there's a curb. Were you guys up on the curb and the bump out, or were any of the um, people that were watching with your group in the street? Most of the children were sort of in the front area on the curb and out into the street, and most of the adults had sort of huddled behind. Okay. I'm assuming that the purpose is can be handed out so the kids got it first. Sure. Okay. Right. And where were you, if you look at that circle, were you, as we're looking at the diagram, towards the right of that circle, which would be east, or were you to the left of the circle, which would be west? Um, and I'm drawing this a lot of probably right here in the back, towards right in the middle. And how about your kids? Um, right here in the front. And were there other people as you were standing looking at the street? Um, which way is the parade coming? Is it coming from as you're looking at the street, your left? Don't exactly because she said something about Miss Bonesteel says she was on the south side of the street, right? That's what she said, the south. Now, she talk about east and west, which is opposite directions from north and south. You see what I'm saying? So where are you really looking? You understand? And you said he was uh, up toward the top, and his kids were toward the bottom of the little circle thing they're, they're there on. So that means you at two opposite poles, east and west or whatever, right? But you see what happened north or south? 
Okay. And, 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 I, and once again, as a parent, I would assume that even if you're standing east, you should be looking west where your children are. Or if you're standing west, you should be looking east where your children are, keeping an eye on your children. Right? Right? All right. But yet, he just happens to be looking south down the block where this happened. Where watch, they're going to just lie and make up shit. Come on, man. And to your right? The camera right. on the ear. Right. Right. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. And what, um, Parker, what time did you get there? Do you know? Uh, we had, most of us had just come from a soccer game in Brookfield. So I think we got there probably right before it started. Three, Forty-five, three fifty. I believe it started at four. So again, there were um, were there a lot of people. Hold on, Mister and Missus Bone still said it started at four thirty. Now he just said three forty-five, four o'clock. That's a whole half hour off of what they said. So I mean, come on, like, were you even in the same time range of whatever happened? Come on now. So his perspective, whatever he may have seen, was a whole half hour before Mr. and Mrs. Bonesteel said they seen what they seen. Come on now, place and time, place and time. In to the right and to the left of you, spectators. Please bring back. Okay, right. good. Thank you. At some point, and we can take this exhibit down. At some point, did you hear some type of commotion? I did. Do you know where in the parade route, like what floats had just gone through or what floats were in front of you? Did you? Yeah, I, I, I did recall at the, at the time what float was about to come in front of us, but I do know that the dancing grannies had just passed us. Okay. Um, and then that's when I heard the commotion, an audible gasp. Uh, there was a large vehicle. Uh, kind of blocking our view of what was coming, um, kind of obscured anything, and that's when I saw a red SUV uh, from the north side come around in front of that vehicle. Uh, it headed straight for that corner where our children were, so it was kind of coming dead on at us, and then at the last second kind of um, clipped that corner and then veered off, and I saw it continue on into the Dancing Grannies group. Stop, 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 stop. Remember, Miss Bonesteel said she was on the south side of the street. It would have been south. Now, he just said he seen the car coming from what direction and then clipped a corner. He said he, come, he said he seen it coming from the north and then clipped a corner, meaning it turned. To, 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 to clip a corner means you have to turn the direction. So if he turned the direction and went down the street, as he just said, that would have, if he was coming from north and he turned a direction, that had to have been east or west. Remember, Miss Bonesteel says she was on the southern side of the street, or the, the she was in the direction of south. So if he clipped the corner, that would have been that would have been west or east, not south. See, so his directions are off. His directions are off. See what I mean? According to Miss Bonesteel's statement. Where she seen the car come down and strike Mrs. Uh, and strike uh, uh, Jane. Remember, Jane was struck, right? Come on, it's not adding up. Now the three stories is not adding up. So as you were looking to your left, which would be in horrible, horrible at directions, it would be. Um... Yeah, exactly. Y'all all horrible at directions. That's why y'all can't get this shit right. And, and this is very technical information because if y'all sitting here showing pictures and drawing diagrams and using technology, can you put a circle around where you were and show us the direction and blah, 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 and all of that shit? This shit ain't adding up. And it's not like you should be blinded because you got the shit right in front of you. You don't know east, north, south, east, and west? All right, let me give you a clue because a, a while ago I was a little confused about that too. But, you know, I know now. You know, and, and the God put me onto that. He had to remind me. Moquan had to remind me. I was asking, like, yo, directions one day. He was like, yo, God, the sun rise in the east. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. So then you, you know your direction. So when you're looking toward the sun, that's the sun is in the east. You know what I mean? So, like, come on, man. That's common sense. 
So you should know directions. Come on now. Pay attention. To the east. To and the we're east. There. Which means you would have been looking toward the sun. And then, the, you know, the sun is kind of bright too. But hold on, wait a minute, then again. Oh, and also look at that corner where they said they were standing on. Did it look cloudy outside to y'all? It did not look cloudy at all. Oh, but wait a minute. This was around 3.45, 4 o'clock. So maybe it wasn't cloudy then. Maybe around 4.30 when this allegedly happened, according to Miss Bonesteel, that maybe then it was cloudy. But, but, but once again, this had happened allegedly all within 15 seconds. So 45 minutes is not 15 seconds. See? So now the timing is not even adding up. Come on, man. I should have been a lawyer on this case, man. I should have been a lawyer on this case. I should have represented this brother in this case, man. I would have got this brother free. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. And motherfuckers be telling me when I be telling them about my documentation and all that. Oh, I don't want no documentation from some ragtag wannabe lawyer. Nigga, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And we're not even talking about documents right now. But I'm just talking about in general. If I were a lawyer... I'd be the best lawyer in the goddamn courtroom. Get the hell out of here, man. This is common sense, really. It's not even hard. It's not even like you don't even got to have a degree. This is common sense, really. Just do the knowledge and add it up. You said you heard a gas? Yeah, like an audible gas, commotion, just an in, in eerie sound of not parade sounds, just a, a loud like draws your attention to something that's going on and we couldn't see because again there was a large vehicle uh, right there and i'm assuming the large vehicle that you're describing was part of the parade correct approximately oh wait a minute the vehicle he just described was part of the parade so was that um was that mr bone steel in his car going that fast because they said he was driving the car that was pulling the float and everybody else that was walking, everybody else was walking behind the float. So the parade is behind the float, allegedly. How far to your left, as you're looking at the parade, was the vehicle when you first saw it? The red SUV that you described. Well, now, see, now stop. Exactly. He didn't describe a red SUV. He just said, and she just said, or try to get him to say that the car that passed by was the car that was in the parade. Now, obviously, Mr. I, I, I mean, uh, excuse me, Dow Brooks was not the car that was in the parade. This is the car that they say allegedly drove through the parade and ran the people over. So he was not the car that was part of the parade. So why did she come on? Let me rewind that for y'all. Okay, y'all missed that. Listen. Something was going on, but we couldn't see because again, there was a large vehicle uh, right there. Oh, and really? the large vehicle that you're describing was part of the parade. Correct. Approximately how far to your left, as you're looking at the parade, was the vehicle when you first saw it? The red SUV that you described. Pull <laughs> well, up, there's Look, You heard somebody cough in the background, right? Because they try to, they try to, they try to just cause a distraction. And I ain't gonna lie, listen, I, look, a judge held me in contempt one time because I was sitting in on a court case and I seen this lawyer tearing this cop up with his questioning. He was making the cop look so, the detective look so stupid. And I was doing that shit too. I was like, <coughs> like, did y'all just hear that shit? <coughs> and when I went up for my case, that bitch held me in contempt because she knew that's what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Making that, you know what I mean? Making, bringing attention to that cop, uh, to that detective being caught in his lies. So when I got up there talking about Sixth Amendment shit and all of that, blah, 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 that bitch held me in contempt on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because she was mad because I made that detect, because I brought, I was bringing attention to that, to that detective getting tore up by that, by that, uh, by that uh, lawyer. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I know that's what this, the, it, and I think that was the bailiff that probably trying to cough in the background. Like, <laughs> no, nigga, don't try to cover it up. We heard what the fuck he just said. And now this nigga scratching his head. Because he know he just said some incorrect shit. Now he like, oh shit, what did I say? I just fucked up? Yeah, nigga, you fucked up. An objection. I was mid-question, so if you could just re, uh, re-ask it. I didn't sure. know. Approximately how far from your position was the red SUV when you first saw it? Uh, it would have been. Oh. 
Look, 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 look. Stop interrupting him. Let him answer. Don't try to answer for him. Let him answer. They try to answer for him so he don't mess up. No, no, no. See, because y'all try to use all these directions and all of that. Y'all to confuse this man. You know what I'm saying? Now he don't even know what the fuck to say. Y'all to confused him. Now he's confused trying to tell the truth. Okay. Okay. He may answer. Okay. It would have been, um, I believe that's the south side of the street. So. Oh, the south side of the street. But remember, he said the car came from north and clipped the corner which means he turned the corner, so he would have been now either east or west on, on, on the street, not south. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. See what I'm saying? Stop the lying, man. He's lying. Now he's lying. Um, or, or giving inaccurate statements. Yeah. He may not be lying, but the fact that he got all tricked up with the directions... He, he don't really know what to say now. So now he's like, damn, trying to get it right. But, you know what I mean? It's hard now because, fuck, y'all didn't already told him some bogus-ass directions. Now you got him looking stupid in the face. Look at his face. He's now confused. Like, oh, wait a minute. Um, Well, what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm confused. He's confused now. Look at his face. He's confused. He's 30 feet. So you first saw it. Approximately 30 feet to your left, and it would have been on the opposite side of the road where, than where, from where you were seated. Yeah, just on the other side of the, um, the large vehicle that's where I was there. So on the driver's side or the passenger driver's side? Driver's side. Thank you. So the vehicle um, comes on the driver's side of that car that was in the parade. What do you see next? I saw it come along the side of it and then once it cleared that vehicle it, it made it a which would have been a right hand turn right towards our corner um i remember having a split second of what is going on and then i remember screaming get back because all of our children were right there now it came through it veered off and i my immediate thought was he hit something in the front there and then continued off. Um, I would say the parents, mostly the dads kind of ran up there to kind of check on the children. And I recall at that moment after a, a second pause, looking down the road to see where it was, where it was going. Um, my immediate thought was to kind of run after it. And then I realized I had a younger child and uh, a three-year-old as well that was there. Um, I saw it. I distinctly remember seeing two victims laying in the street and I looked up the other way where it had come and I saw a woman with plaid pajamas lying in the street up the road and that's when I grabbed my, my daughter. My oh, really? Back. You just decided you to grab your kids? You right after and you all of that happened? Didn't you, didn't you grab your kids? Your I think you would have grabbed your kids immediately, man. This was after probably three to four seconds in duration, it was advanced up into the, the dancing grannies group that had just passed us. Could you tell the path of travel as it, you said it was heading towards your corner and then it veered away. Do you recall, can you describe right back, that? Yeah, memory? it came, veered away and then went, headed right back, continued down Main Street, seemingly right down the middle of the road. And did you see it impact the grannies? Or I did not. see bodies after it traveled through the them. Yes. 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 Can wait until she's fully asked the question. I know can be a little nerve-wracking, um, just so that the record is clear. Thank you so much. Sir, how old are the children, your children, that were in the My children at the time was uh, seven, and my youngest was three. And they were, you indicated if I can have Exhibit 51 back up. So a three-year-old, you was just letting linger in the street out of your supervision, not holding your child's hand? Really? Um, again, you can now. ask approximately where you were standing. I believe I was standing sort of right back, back there a little bit. On the back wall. there, okay. in the street. And your seven-year-old? And your kids. Approximately where? Right. 
in the and street. And you three year old. She had just come back by me a few minutes prior, so she was back by me. Oh, stop lying. And now, see, look, view. look, look, now he changed his story because he knows that that sounds ridiculous. That you would have your three year old just lingering in the street where a car just passed by. Like, really? How, how responsible would you be as a parent? So now that he realized that's child neglect, he, he's switching his story. See? Come on, man. Come on, man. Paul came towards you. Can you put an arrow approximately where you think it was veering from and where it was going towards? Overruled. I believe it was coming right at us and then quickly went that way. Thank you. Were you able to estimate how fast the car was going? Faster than normal speed limit on that road, I would say 25 to 30 miles per hour. Did you hear a horn honking prior to it coming up on your group? I did not. Did vehicles stop? <clears throat> Strike that. Were there any people that were with your group injured? Yes. Who was injured? My daughter, my seven-year-old daughter, uh, had her foot ran over her left foot. Uh, oh, foot, my foot, God. Foot now, he just said his daughter had her foot ran over. As if she was that close. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Didn't he just say his... Oh, my gosh. Come on, now. This nigga trying to get paid or something? Come on, man. Stop lying, dude. Now, all of a sudden, your daughter got her foot ran over by a big two-ton SUV or, you know, big, big pickup truck or whatever. Where is she at now? Was she in a hospital? Was she injured? Or is she, she another Superman... Uh, as well, because y'all seem to be Superman all of a sudden. Y'all just superheroes. She's another superhero, too? She didn't get injured? Really? Come on, dude. And I also heard tibia and fibula in her leg. And then there was another uh, friend of ours, younger daughter, who was next to her. I believe she got sideswiped from the vehicle with some face damage. So. And what was that um, That girl's last name? Nap. K-N-A-P-P? -P? Correct. And your seven-year-old, what is her name? Brinley. B-R-I-N-L-E-Y? Correct. Okay. Did you, you said that there was something with her tibia and fibula. Fibula, fibula. Were they broken they were or? Broken. Yes, sorry. They were okay, broken. sorry. What did you do? What, at, at that moment? Right after the car went past your yep. So we leaped up. Um, my daughter was crying. Many of the children were crying. It was we were trying to triage through and just seeing who was injured and in because it, it came that close. And again, I had looked down, kind of just assessed the situation a little bit. Um, I had grabbed my daughter, had set her back on the curb a little bit. Grabbed my my oldest daughter, sorry, with the injuries. I grabbed my three year old and set them there as well. And then at some point. Uh, a few moments later, got them. Uh, the other parents were lining up the children on the side of Clinton Street, on the side of the steaming cup, um, over in this area. Um, so we eventually moved the kids back there. Did you take Ridley that evening for medical care? I did not. Okay. Did How did you know that she had broken toes? <laughs> so, um, there's a couple of variables that came into play that we did not know at the moment. Um, <laughs> I knew that she had a, a foot injury, and I, I did the typical dad thing, and I downplayed the initial injury. Um, I carried her to the car. At the at the time of walking to the car, as a, as a leader at Pro Healthcare, where I work, I got an alert that the hospital was in a lockdown. So my initial thought was to take her up to the hospital myself. Her acuity versus other victims laying on the road didn't warrant her waiting for an ambulance, and I could take her. Um, at that time, when I got the lockdown notice on my phone, I decided to call my wife, who is a 
nurse practitioner in urgent care at the time. And I said, you know, you're going to want to check this out. She was almost done with her shift anyways. We live 15 minutes from the house. So we kind of convened there. She looked at it and decided to take her in at that moment. So what foot was uh, run over? Her left foot. When she, after the car drove over her foot, did she still have her shoe on? She had, uh, no, both shoes had come off um, somehow. But both, we lost one eventually, and then the other one, uh, we found one. Were you able to look at specifically the left shoe after the car went past? I will. Overruled in the answer. I, I did see uh, the shoe later on. I think it was the next morning when we kind of had a chance to collect ourselves, and I recall seeing a tread mark across her, her shoes. That be consistent with the tire mark? It would be. So the right shoe was unable to be located mm -hmm. that night, correct? Correct. And the left shoe you did find, and that's what you took home with you? Correct. <laughs> Now, you said that at the time you didn't feel that your daughter should be taken by ambulance because of what you were seeing. Can you describe to the jury what you were seeing? Just mass chaos. Um, nothing like I, I, I'm, I was, I'm a combat veteran. I've been around mass hysteria most of my career. And there was I had never seen anything like this in such a safe environment where it was just hysteria. Screams, sirens everywhere. Just... And, and not knowing are there other vehicles coming down, We're like what what is actually going on here? Um, so that's that was it was just an odd, eerie feeling for for a very long period there. And you would indicate you had seen a woman with plaid pants. Seen like pajama pants. Correct. Okay, to the left of you. Correct. And did you see her being treated? I saw many. Um, individuals standing around her. I know that one of the parents in our group is a, a physician. I believe she she went on to render aid somewhere. I don't know if it was her or not, um, but I remember seeing a large presence around that woman. And then did you see any bodies to the right of your position? Yes, that's where I saw uh, two within the, with, which would have been part of the, the Danes and Granny group. I don't know if they were the grannies or not at the time. I just knew that there were two people there. Israel, a climate of innovation. Where there are big catastrophes, Israel creates big solutions. Where people desire clean water, Israel desires to innovate. So we're going to show you what's been marked as States Exhibit 15. And I'm just going to have it viewed in front of you initially. Do you recognize generally um, this map? I do. And you see the position that you and your family were on November 21st of last year? I do. And you see your daughter's name um, in a box that's above the word steaming cup? I do. And it's connected to a uh, star that's orange in color? Correct. Is that the approximate location of where you and your family were when your daughter was run over? That is. Um, may I publish it to the jury that's previously been admitted? Okay. <coughs> Again, showing the jury uh, State's Exhibit 15, if you can um, circle the, the orange star that's associated with where your daughter was struck. Thank you. And the approximate location that you observed the woman to your left? Overruled, you may answer. And to your right? Um, Next, I want to show you what has been before you move on. It's not a record to reflect because it wasn't screen captured that the stars that he circled on exhibit 15. Uh, Actually, sir, before so we can capture it, can you again circle the area where you and your family were? Um, overall, he may do it again since. Uh, it was clear before we captured it. And then the area where you saw um, a body down on the ground to your left? And that's, you indicate that she had plaid pants, or it was a woman who had plaid pants? Plaid, uh, with their pajama pants. 
Do you recall what else she was wearing? I don't. Okay. And then to your right. Okay. And that would be the circles, if we can save that um, and mark it as 15. I think we're on B as well. We'll, we'll be marked as exhibit B. Sorry, 15 B. And um, where you marked the circle to your left, that was associated with the same place where there's a name Jane Fulick? Yes. Oh, 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 right. And where you circled to the right, there are seven different names that are dancing rays. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> and there's right. here the last part that you said, Mr. Brooks. Are you withdrawing that? No, I'm not. You said that. I said it's, it's pretty obvious from the picture. It is leading the witness. All right. Your objection was noted. It's overruled. His answers may stand. Thank you. Sir, so I'm next going to show you Exhibit 49, which is a video. I'm first going to have it played or put in front of you on your screen, and you can just let me know when you see um, the depiction on that screen. I see. And um, you saw the first couple seconds of that. Let me play it one more time, and then ask you if you recognize that. <coughs> okay. I stopped it at three seconds. And do you recognize that area? I do. What is that area? That's the corner right in front of People's Park where we were at the parade. Okay. And you had said, is People's Park across from Steaming Cup? Oh, I'm sorry, Steaming Cup. Yeah, People's Park is directly across from Steaming Cup. And that would have been the corner that you were located with your family? At, Steaming, at the Steaming Cup Park. Yeah. And do you see yourself depicted in this video? I do. Do you believe it accurately represents um, what you observed that day and what you did? I do. Um, I'd ask that um, Exhibit 49 be admitted into evidence and published to the jury. Wow. So because he he says it's, it's, it's true and accurate, you could just enter it into evidence? So what if he says that it's not true and evidence? Are you going to, I mean, not true and accurate. Are you going to take it out of evidence? No, because she's allowing everything the prosecution says to be entered into evidence. That's why I say it's clear bias, man. You have no wins in these goddamn courts. It's, it's straight up bias. Well, for the record, how long is the video clip? It is eight seconds. All right, thank you. Exhibit 49 is received. Permission to publish is granted. Thank you. Notice for the record, yeah. Yes. Okay, if we can play it starting at zero, going through the entire eight seconds. <coughs> And you stated that you did see yourself in that video? I did. Going to the initial uh, screen of that video, which would be at zero seconds. Uh, I ain't even going to go no more further with this. Y'all can clearly see the lies. I ain't even going to you know, continue more with this shit. I'll be here forever you with this shit. In, but anyway. Um, at zero seconds, you see yourself in this uh, still frame. Yes. Can you circle, again, using the touch uh, screen, where you are? And if 